Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Nefarious. I have to say I'm extremely excited, right? I found this movie, whatever, it ended up on my list. And then somehow, through the magic of TikTok or social media, it piqued my interest even more. So, I saw one TikTok or something like that that, I don't know if it were Christians or, uh, or uh, you know, satanic worshippers or whatever, they're trying to suppress this film because they don't want us to know. So, the, the, the thing is, is this um, one person, a serial killer is on death row. It's his day of his execution. And a psychiatrist comes in to, you know, I guess evaluate him prior to that. And during which he claims he is the devil or a demon or, you know, a disciple of the devil, something like that. And um, the psychiatrist is going to commit three murders at some point. That's what IMDb says. But they show, I saw something on TikTok where he talks about the world today and how the devil's present it's pretty a lot you know um hour and 37 minutes long it's only 6.5 on imdb 4962 people rated it so far um sean patrick flannery he plays nefarious and then uh, jordan belfry uh Belf yeah belfry uh, plays uh the, the psychiatrist so you know with the world today if you're not aware well, i don't know where you live where you're watching this from but in the northeastern part of the United States, uh, you know, we're getting hit with wildfire smoke. I mean, it's even worse. I mean, if you're in Canada, you're getting hit with wildfires, right? All over Canada. Crazy. And then the whistleblower with the UFOs and stuff like that. I mean, I know this is all just, I don't know, I'm in my little basement watching movies, watching conspiracy theories on TikTok and stuff. But with all that happening, and then I couldn't find this forever. Couldn't find it. And somebody said they're trying to suppress it because of that. I don't know. Anyway, a lot of conspiracy going on right now up here. Can't wait to see what happens here. Stick around. I'll tell you. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of Nefarious. And uh, different than what I kind of thought it was going to be. Still good. Let me start off there. I like it. But I could see how... Um, people aren't going to like this because I think there's a purpose behind this in this movie and I could see the conspiracy about it being you know pushed down or hidden or whatever um, see all that so I'm a fan of faith-based movies and that's what really this is um, and and the fact that he's uh, real quick he says in the beginning you know you're gonna have three murders that's said right in the beginning now but it's also in IMDB so I'm not spoiling anything there anyway this essentially i feel without ruining anything is a a faith-based movie from a different angle so it's you know talking about demons and uh this uh character um who was sentenced to death and his um you know his outlook his motivation his master plan from the evil side versus the good side so I like it because I think it's it's very creative interesting and I'll even say edgy you know most of the faith-based type movies you're gonna watch out there are you know hey people who don't believe in God they uh, you know something happens and then they turn back to God something like that right they're all very similar all usually have a good message and um, all that kind of stuff but this one was completely from a different angle, and um, I, I and and it was from a convincing type of angle. So in the other movies, you might see some miracles or you know some stuff like that that are, that are there that might. Eh. Well, this one uses like actual real life events to try and prove different things throughout, and and that's in one of the TikToks that I saw. You know, and he talks about different things, and I, and I think, you know, it, it's um, I don't want it's not, it, you know, it's I don't want to say politically driven. That doesn't sound right, right? But it's it's it's, it's agenda driven, um, you know. So, uh, well done in that aspect. Still enjoyed it a lot. Um, Sean Patrick Flannery, he's from Boondock Saints. If you haven't seen that, he's been in a couple of different things and in some other faith-based movies. Um, and was it Michael Belfi? Is that his first name? I forget what his first name was. But he was actually funny. I was like, I know him. Where do I know him from? 
and I know him from um, oh, Jordan Belfont. Um, he was in Entourage. That's where I know him from. So I thought Sean Patrick Flannery does a phenomenal job in his characters. And, uh, you know, I think they, and for the most, it's just them in, in a room going back and forth and, uh, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So I also wasn't sure if maybe this was based on a true story. It is not. Um, it's based on a book. But still, uh, you know, uh, for a fan, if you're a fan of faith-based movies, I think you'll enjoy this. Um, at least, I don't know, appreciate it. I'll say you yeah, appreciate it. I do think a lot of people who don't care maybe about religion, don't have beliefs, and there's nothing wrong with that, might not enjoy this movie. I think it's more geared towards others and not so much them. So, um, and, and that's just my opinion. Maybe somebody out there who who is doesn't believe or doesn't care or anything like that might really enjoy it. I mean, the acting is pretty good from Sean Patrick Flannery. The other guy, okay. Um, but, you know, they'll see the agenda-driven plotline, in my opinion. I, again, my opinion, I liked it. Glad I watched it. Um, and uh, maybe you will too, but you got the, the idea and you can make your own decision now based on what I shared. So, there you go. That's it. Trying to be concise. Hopefully it was helpful. Cut it down right there. Thanks for tuning in. Gimbal's Irish Pub.